I found this caterpillar and wanted to see if I could hatch it. I took the dark, spiky bug and put her in my little animal kingdom, added some oats, some apple, a piece of egg carton. I was determined to be a very good caterpillar mother. And I waited. But when I checked on it the very next day, there was no caterpillar in this enclosure. I thought she had escaped, but upon a closer look, I saw what looked to be her spiky skin on the floor, and I realized that she must have already gone through part of her metamorphosis and cocooned. So I set up my time lapse and waited for 15 days. But after five days, I noticed she wasn't moving at all in the cocoon. As days turned to weeks, I was getting nervous I did something wrong and she wouldn't hatch at all. Those two weeks felt like a whole lifetime, but on day 16, I noticed the cocoon looked really dark with a purple glowing shade. It was like she was glowing. So I sat there for a few hours and then like a miracle, she delicately emerged from her cocoon. I watched as our dark little spiky caterpillar transformed into a breathtaking, vibrant, colorful butterfly. I witnessed an incredible metamorphosis. I set up three cameras and got three different views of the metamorphosis. It was awesome. After she hatched, of course, I documented every moment. I had never in my life held a butterfly before and I learned that in order for a butterfly to actually fly after hatching, the process of it spreading its wings after hatching is a crucial step. Basically their wings are small, folded, and very wet when they hatch and they're crumbled, tightly packed against their body and the wetness is what helps pump fluid out to stretch and harden the wings and allow them to grow properly so they can fly. So you gotta give the butterfly something to hold on to that can allow her wings to slowly dry and expand and that takes about four hours. You can imagine how nervous I was that I would do something wrong and be the cause of her wings not spreading out, but I was patient and I watched as I let nature do its thing. I sat there for five hours, but the time was right. I poked my little finger in her enclosure, which was my attempt in giving her a little hand in flying and use it as an excuse to become friends with my first ever butterfly. Finally, she delicately crawled onto my finger and latched onto my nail and she even even made her first few attempts to flap and I was really excited. I sat there as I watched her begin to fine tune her flight capabilities and maximize her aerodynamic efficiency. I learned that she's a morning cloak butterfly. They're found in North and South America, Europe and Asia, and they can live up to 11 months, which is nine months longer than the regular lifespan of other butterflies. Some only live for a few days while others can survive for a few months. She's so small and pretty. You can find them in wooded areas, parks, gardens, just in case you decide decide to go on a caterpillar hunt after watching this video. She was surprisingly playful as she began to learn to flap her wings so she could fly away alongside nature. I was in awe. Even Raffi really loved her. He was so delicate with her and gave a nice little yawn after sniffing her. And I got my macro camera out and started filming her body close up because I never saw something as beautiful in my life that I felt like I helped bring into this world. Because although butterflies of course can hatch in nature, you never know if a critter or an enemy will come and eat the cocoon or if the cocoon will get lost or fall. So I think I gave it the optimal chance at life. But slowly but surely, her wings began to flap more and it seemed like she was getting ready to fly. She attempted to fly indoors a bit and landed on the windowsill. But once a butterfly is ready for flight, they'll excrete a couple drops of water from the tips of their wings before they take flight and that's how you know they're ready to fly. This process is called gotation. And at first, I thought this butterfly had peed on me. Oh, she just peed on me. But then I learned about this amazing phenomenon called gotation. So I knew she was ready for flight. I wanted to keep her forever, but I hoped she would be my garden butterfly and remember me. Can we take her out to the garden? Ready for flight. I took her out to the garden to prepare her so she could practice some more. We're gonna hope that she stays in the garden box to live there. But she didn't want to fly away. She liked me. After about 30 minutes, she still didn't want to fly away. You know what? I know it's a scary world out there. Maybe she's not ready yet. So I took her back inside. Maybe she'll be my garden butterfly. She's gonna flap them again. <laughs> 
They left the door open just in case she changed her mind it was a little rainy out. Plus, I was fully open to the idea of having her live with me and becoming Rafi's little sister. But I knew that I couldn't stop her from living freely in nature and getting all the pollen in the world from the most beautiful flowers. What I knew was coming all along, the moment I dreaded but also kind of longed for. She decided to fly outside, and I sprinted after her to see where she went, but she took a moment as if she was saying thank you and goodbye, and she flew away gracefully in the warm summer air. I was really sad. <laughs> <laughs> I named her Sunny, inspired by her name Morning Clothes. She flew away. No, my baby. <laughs> I felt an instant connection with Sunny. I marveled at her graceful flights and the way she delicately explored her surroundings, so I was really sad, but determined to keep helping caterpillars and their journey of metamorphosis into the next stages of life. I'm mourning the loss of our morning cloak. I hope she looks good. She was nervous. I knew her story deserved to be shared with the world and I just know she's going to be the most famous butterfly in the world. But really the life cycle of butterflies, particularly the process of metamorphosis, is a remarkable and awe-inspiring transformation that I honestly feel lucky I was able to witness. To me, it serves as a powerful reminder of the cyclical nature of life, growth, change, and the deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness and resilience of nature. It's incredible how something so small can bring so much joy. I really hope she comes to visit me, but now you already know that I'm gonna go on another caterpillar hunt to find a second one and grow it into a butterfly. So come back to see our next butterfly hatch. I really hope that you enjoyed this process just as much as me. Don't forget that on this channel, we take the seeds from inside exotic fruits and grow them into full blown house plants that fruit and sometimes I guess assist in the metamorphosis process of butterflies and their hatching. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe. Remember that I love you. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> Blue away.